Back to another episode, episode 7. Today we're going to talk about how to decrease the score when you collide with an enemy. Now this has been uh, quite a learning, learning curve for me because uh, I've recorded this tutorial about 9 times and uh, every time I've failed before. But I finally understood my mistake and now I'm going to tell you about it. So the first thing you need to do is add a mesh, or in this case it's going to be a bomb or whatever enemy you want. Uh, what we're going to do is we want to add physics to it because we want them to be able to detect collisions with the car which is your player obviously and the collision set to active and the collision box set to cube uh, this is great but it is actually clipping through the ground plane which isn't too great so let's just apply the rotation and scale as well as the location now let's go to object set origin to geometry and that sort of centers out the geometry a bit better, uh, the uh, look at uh, the um, origin a bit better. But as you can see, we have uh, the mesh seeking through, and that's not too great. So let's press Tab, GZ to move the mesh up, which also uh, sets the origin more into the center. And now the uh, collision box is a bit better placed, so I can move it down a bit, just not so it's clipping through the ground plane. There we go, now we have our enemy set up, but we need to make it spawnable. We need to make one of these objects spawn the actual bomb randomly. So it's the same process as the gas cans, although um, it is going to be different, uh, slightly different. So let's go to the scripting tab and open up the spawner uh, trait that we made in a previous tutorial. Over here we got a bunch of stuff, but it's basically just the same node tree but duplicated. And we're going to do exactly the same thing again, but we're going to change it a bit more this time. First thing to change, obviously, is uh, this um, our bomb. We need to set that object to be the spawned object. So let's just rename it to bomb real quick. And in the spawn object uh, node, we need to set that to bomb because we don't want to spawn the gas can anymore. And here in the event, the event that's going to trigger it is going to be need to be something different. So I'll just call it bomb, because why not? And make sure you set that to the end as well to complete the loop. Uh, however, I think, yeah, cube number three, you need to change that to cube number three as well. If not, it's going to spawn on the opposite lane. It doesn't really matter, but whatever, we're going to do it anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So uh, there we go. Now that we have our bomb event triggered, um, created, we need to define the uh, the logic that the bomb is going to be born with. As soon as the object is spawned, we need to uh, give it logic because uh, it will be spawned with the mesh and the collisions, but not any base logic. Like this um, this gas can object was has a script applied to it called gas and this script contains basic information like move forward on collision remove the object and send the vent to to the car so we just want to basically just grab that and thank you very much control c to copy and let's just select the bomb and add a new node trait called bomb with a capital b Let's edit the node tree and just paste uh, the um, node tree inside of it. Now let's change the uh, event of uh, collision to explosion. Because that's what we're going to do. Uh, we, uh, we want to explode the bomb every time that it is colliding with the uh, actual car. Uh, which is unlike, uh, which is one of my mistakes because in this spawn object, yeah here we go this uh, on event was bomb and you make sure you set a different uh, on event as an explode because if you say it's a se if you set the same event then the score is going to decrease every time that the object is spawned so they're two spe uh, separate events make sure you you get that right because I got that wrong the first time so now let's deal with the score now that we have this event triggered uh, explosion is an empty event right now so let's go add some logic behind that event so let's go to the score tab and over here let's make some changes because it's a bit of a mess so this is the integer the main uh, value this is the actual score value 
this is the math we apply to it, that's the variable that we're modifying and this is the trigger event. This is what displays all that on the actual screen. So let's just uh, control uh, shift D to duplicate that and move it down. Now like I said that is uh, for the gas can. So what we want to do is the opposite of what the gas does as in instead of refueling you, it makes you lose fuel, it makes you lose points. So let's just change all that. This is going to be the explosion because it's what happens when you collide with the actual um, over here, the gas, uh, actually it's bomb. This is what happens when you actually collide with the car, it sends the explosion value out and that explosion value is what you have here. It's what is received, that's what's sent, that's what received and that is going to trigger the score to be decreased and so you just set this to minus one and that's going to decrease the integer so you can plug the integer into the bottom value and it's going to set it to minus one whereas adding whereas uh, colliding with the gas can is going to add plus one and that's going to modify the variable uh, which is going to need to be connected to the integer as well via the variable and that needs to be displayed uh, by select by plugging into the text of the canvas uh, however we have one slight problem still it's set to zero that means that as soon as you start the game you're going to have a zero in your score whereas we want to set it to something like 10 so you can actually lose points and gain points instead of just starting and going into negative values as soon as you collide with the bomb in fact to avoid that I'm going to talk about that a bit after uh, but let's concentrate on this uh, this 10 value here we need to set it up in the canvas there we go if we didn't set it up as 10 if we set it for 0 example, for example that means as soon as you start the game on screen you're going to get a 0 but then as soon as you collide with either the bomb or the actual gas can then it's going to decrease the value of 10 so you're starting with 0 and then suddenly you're skipped to a 9 or you're skipped to 11 and that doesn't make sense so make sure you set the uh, inter uh, make sure you set the canvas to the same value of the integer at the beginning of your game obviously after that it's automatic so make sure you set that to 10 and make sure to save it before you exit if not it doesn't register it obviously uh, there we go now let's just play our actual game to make sure everything is working properly and then I can talk about how you can reach the threshold that will make you either win or lose. And as you can see on the top left hand side corner we have the 10 in the canvas and when we select uh, when we uh, collide with a gas can it increases the score from 10 to 12 but as soon as we hit a bomb it decreases the score. There we go, two bombs and decrease the score. And now two gas cans increase the score, you get the point. There we go, it's working. Our enemy is complete. Although it's not too interesting right now because if you go beneath the actual threshold, uh, beneath the actual value of uh, zero, it'll go on to minus one and then minus two, etc. So what you can do is just duplicate the integer and uh, let's add a gate node. And set this to be a less. Now you can plug that into the bottom and set this to be a zero and plug that into the top value and we need this to be checked every uh, frame so we're gonna grab a update node on update and what we can do is we can uh, let's just shut down the game directly because we don't have any uh, uh, you died screen uh, made up yet so yeah that is how you add a threshold equal yeah equal I'm sorry I've been a fool why did I set it less so if we equal to zero then we are going to die anything above zero is good basically that's what we're defining to our script so let's just try grab some bombs real quick and then uh, if we get zero then it's going to decrease our it's going to shut us down basically and now if we select one more bomb usually the program should just shut down if everything's working fine and there we go it shut down 
There we go. That proves my point. I I don't know why I set this uh, to e uh, to less before it's equal. Uh, so if the score, if the integer is equal to the value of the first input, then it's going to apply the action. And obviously, it starts uh, the the value that the integer that it starts with would be plugged into the bottom input. So there we go. That's how you can never uh, go down past zero. Uh, which is great because if not your game goes into the minus scores and that you know it, it kind of breaks the, the whole game thing so there we go thank you very much for watching if you are interested next video I'm gonna show you how to add explosions to your game I'm gonna show you how to use tile sheets to add an explosion every time that our player is colliding with the car or with the bomb which is going to be really fun so it adds that level of uh, satisfaction while playing your game because right now it's a bit plain you just this the object just disappears so if you like what you watching then please subscribe and ring the notification bell do not miss the tutorial coming up this one was a bit of a while in the making so I hope you like it and make sure you leave a thumbs up thank you very much for watching